everyone and welcome back to my channel <sighs> that feels so incredible to say oh my goodness it has been so incredibly long since I have sat down to film a video and I am so sorry I just kind of like disappeared off the face of the earth um, with like no explanation of where I've been because I mean even if you're like one of the few people that follow me on like Instagram or Twitter. Twitter, I haven't posted anything in like forever. I just, I don't know, I just can't get into Twitter. And Instagram, like I've kind of posted here and there, but still it didn't give an explanation of like where the heck I've been. It just kind of looks like Brittany just posts random shit every now and again. But um, I am back and it feels so <sighs> so good to sit down and finally film a video. Like I mean, I knew I missed filming. Um, but I didn't think I missed it this much. Like, the feeling that I'm feeling right now is just, like, so incredible, and I just feel so, so good to finally just sit down and talk to my camera again. I mean, this is, like, literally so strange. Like, it's to the point where when I turned on my camera right now, it was, like, doing stuff I had never seen it do before, and, like, the first thing it did was, like, ask me, like, the date and time, and it had, like, reverted its settings, like, back to, like, factory settings. But um, today's video is literally going to be a super chill video. I'm like literally sitting here in my pajama top and um, yeah, I'm chilling with a bare face. I was going to put like some makeup on, but then I was like, it's 9.23 at night and I have nothing to do the rest of tonight. So I, I don't know, I just, I wasn't in the mood to, you know, put my foundation on and I'm actually kind of feeling how clear my face is, which I know for some of you before someone's like... Ew, your face is not clear. Um, for me, this is clear. Like, if you guys could have seen what my face turned into about a month ago, it was horrible. Like, it was to the point where I was considering going on Accutane, which, if any of you know me, like, well, I would never go on Accutane. I mean, it was bad, but I mean, I have some, like, horrific cases. Mine wasn't horrific, but it was, like, to the point where I just couldn't recognize. Like, I was like, where, where did this even come from? You know, I was, like, breaking out in places like my jaw and my temples. Like, my temples all the time. And I just... But really what it was, it was stress and it was eating super shitty, which I'll explain to you guys why in a second. But I decided to just chill with no makeup on. No, we're just gonna have a really chill chatty video um it's probably gonna be all over the place and kind of rambly because i kind of know like the few topics that i want to touch upon but i don't like have it scripted or i didn't really think about what i was gonna say so um yeah but i hope you all don't mind and i'm just i'm just so excited to you know finally just sit down and film so I guess you guys are wondering, like, where the hell were you, Brittany? Um, but basically what happened was, is I think my last video I posted was in March. March. And we're in August right now. At least it's August 6th when I'm filming this. So I have been gone for quite some time. This is definitely by far the longest I've ever gone without filming something. But um, basically what happened was... Initially, I thought I was going to take a break. Um, I mean, it wasn't a planned break, but I was kind of being forced to take a break because back in March, um, it was probably like the middle of March, um, my classes started getting really intense. Like, I started having all these projects due and a ton of papers. Like, I've never written so many papers in my life, and they were all pretty intense papers, probably like six pages each, you know, and when you're doing that for like three or four different classes that like quickly adds up to like a small novel so um that's basically what happened so and it was like finals and I'm the kind of student where it's like I have to give like 110 percent into my schoolwork or else I like I don't feel good you know I like experience like cognitive dissonance for all <laughs> for all of my fellow psych majors out there like I just can't can't deal with like not putting my best foot forward and knowing like there's some other things that um, are taking away from that. So basically it just came down to the point where it's finals week, I have all these, well finals month, I have all of these papers due and everything like that and I just needed to give like my all to it. So that's kind of what happened but I expected like as soon as finals week was over, I was like I'll get back into it. I knew I was definitely taking organic chemistry in the summer for six weeks. 
which was the biggest mistake of my life but um I knew I was gonna do that but like in my head like initially going into it I was like oh it's just orgo it's in six weeks like I've taken other summer classes in six weeks like um I've taken chemistry and microbio in six weeks like it'll be okay it's just orgo like I'm sure I'm just gonna have to study really hard like I always do for all my other classes but no big deal I definitely didn't think it was something that I couldn't handle I knew it was gonna be difficult but in my mind I was like yeah I'm gonna go to class I finish at noon so I'm gonna go to the gym then I'll come home edit some videos da 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 like that was the biggest fairy tale ever that class was the worst class I have ever taken in my five years of being a college student I would never wish that class upon my worst enemy in like the six week period and it was just the most challenging mentally physically emotionally draining class I have ever taken and it was just bad like it was really bad and um, I studied my ass off I pulled all-nighters I've been in college for like five years and I've never pulled an all-nighter even if I felt like I kind of wasn't ready for a test I just feel like oh well you're not ready you still need your sleep but it came down to the point where there just weren't enough hours in a day to accomplish what I needed to and um, long story short um, this was the class that I needed to get into graduate school I was ready to apply I had asked all of the people that I needed for letters of recommendation and like I was just so set like all my ducks were in a row like everything was ready to go this was literally just the last class I needed to complete my application it was one of the last prereqs for the graduate school that I'm applying to for physicians assisting and I was like yes it's gonna be a hard class but it's just six weeks you know and I just have to like study really hard work really hard and it'll just work itself out you know just sacrifice like literally six weeks of my life doing absolutely nothing but school and studying and it'll all it'll all be worth it in the end um, but long story short even with the ridiculous amount of hours I spent in energy and everything it didn't work out I didn't pass at the grade that I needed and that was literally the first time ever that I failed a class and for me like I didn't even see like I knew it was gonna be hard and even like as I was going through it like I realized I came to accept the fact that like you were not getting an A in this class but passing was still possible like in my mind and I just kept going through because there's nothing I wanted more than to finish this class and pass it not seeing that light at the end of the tunnel or that light that was at the end of the tunnel just kind of like be taken away from you like it's just not there anymore it was really like hard for me like anyone who like knows me like in my personal life like my co-workers my friends and everything like that like saw the change in me and for some people that might just be like oh no big deal I fail classes all the time you know but just like this class was so important to me you know this was like literally like you're gonna be a PA this in the upcoming year or you're not gonna be a PA in the upcoming year you know what I mean and like physicians assisting is literally the only thing I ever see myself doing in life like I considered like other options I was like okay maybe this is a sign that PA isn't for you maybe you should look at other routes or other things you know like so many people are like okay well you can't be a PA become a nurse or like a dental hygienist or just like whatever and I was like no people like you don't understand like this is all I see myself doing you know what I mean and there was a point in time where I was like, yeah, I'll be a PA or I could be a nurse or I could be a teacher. Like there's a couple fields like I'd be like, yeah, I'd be happy doing any of those. But it came to the point now, like after shadowing a, uh, a doctor for so long um, in his physician's assistance, it was just like, I remember the first day doing that. I was just like, yes, this is it. Like it was just a complete affirmation that this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. And this is exactly what I want to be doing. And it was just like so exciting because I was like yes you you picked the right thing because for a while I was like yeah I want to be a PA but I was like as much as I want it I was like what if I like start and I like hate it but that first day shadowing was beautiful it was like perfect it was everything I had hoped and expected it would be and it was just like sealing the deal that like yes this is what you're gonna do and this is what you want to do for a while there like what really got me through it is I just felt like you know everything 
everything happens for a reason and like I always say that like nonchalantly like if something happens I'm like no everything happens for a reason but it didn't really resonate me until this happened and I was like like why does this have to happen to me like what is the meaning of this and I mean maybe sometimes people just look at that as like a cop-out like it's just like an excuse people are making up well yeah everything happens for a reason to cope with it but I really feel like maybe there was a reason for this and I mean I think that's what like finally like got me to like calm down and like start to like pick up the pieces was just like there is a reason for this you may not like it but in the end it'll pay out like you will see down the line that this needed to happen for whatever reason you know maybe who I mean who knows why I, like it's just not happening for me right now but if there's something that that I really want and that I believe in it will happen it will happen when it's supposed to happen you know what I mean um so yeah and I think that's like applicable to like like whatever you guys are going through in in your life right now I know like my situation you guys are probably like or some of you might be like oh, please that's like no big deal there's like way worse things that could have happened in life but for me that was like my moment and for other people it might be something different you know what I mean it could be something way worse or even something simpler than this you know what I mean there's just certain things things are different for everyone you know what I mean but like that really didn't resonate with me until like I needed it the most you know what I mean and I do feel like you know this happened for a reason I don't know what that reason is I can't see it right now but maybe a year and a half two years from now or when I'm like halfway through PA school I'll be like oh this is why that needed to happen you know what I mean so uh, so yeah that's kind of that and um, so because of that I went into this like really weird funk I mean I just felt like not passing that class like I just felt like aspects of my life I was just like losing control of you know and I'm type of, I li I'm like the type of person I'm a planner you know I plan things out and you know like I mean major things like I'm not that much of a planner or like if I don't have my outfit picked up for that day I can't you know function or whatever but I mean for like major life um happenings like I'm a planner so um to like see my plan kind of like fail or be put on hold or like shuffled around I just felt like I was just losing touch with like a bunch of other aspects in my life and then that just put me in like a crazy funk. So just so many things in my life I felt like were like getting out of control. Like I messed up my schedule for work and I've been working at the same place for five years and I've never messed up like my schedule and like I had a nervous breakdown at work and my manager saw me cry which is something that's never happened in five years. But um, that, that, was, that for me was like this is affecting me and it got to the point where I would just like sit at home and like watch Netflix all day I just like I wouldn't do anything and my room got out of control to the point where I've always been a messy disorganized person like I'm not even gonna try to pretend like I'm this super organized individual because I'm not but it just got to the point where it was like unhealthy and like ridiculous like my room literally started to look like it came out of an episode of hoarders so it just got to the point and then like one day I was just sitting there and I'm like I'm tired of feeling like this like this is not feeling like how I'm feeling right now is like not a nice feeling and I was like why can't I change that you know what I mean I was like why does this have to be me you know and I just woke up one day and like cleaned my room I mean if I have a picture of what it looks like before I'll post it like I'll insert it somewhere in the video and like a photo of what it looks like after I'll post it because I mean it's something I'm proud of I mean I'm proud to say that like I'm embarrassed to say like this is what I let it get to but I'm proud to say that I took the initiative to like organize everything I mean I went through all my clothes and my drawers and just everything and just started reorganizing stuff trying to make better use of the space because every aspect of my life whether it's clothing or workout gear or lingerie or makeup like everything I have in my life is just always in excess like I have way too much of everything so I just kind of wanted to make better use of like the space that I do have so I've just been reorganizing everything going through things like I'm um, getting rid of clothes that like I have from like high school I even have shit from middle school like I'm 22 you know what I mean um maybe not middle school maybe more like the beginning of high school but that's practically middle school eighth and ninth grade you know what I mean so I just have so much stuff so I've just been really like going through and like organizing and I still have a bit to go through but um I'm really proud of like the progress I've made and that was like literally the first step in me just feeling like I have control of things again you know what I mean so I'm actually super excited about that while I just kind of felt like really uninspired and unmotivated and this has like nothing to do with the fact of my chemistry class it just just had to do with like 
how I felt about my YouTube channel as like a separate entity and everything like that because I kind of feel like like during that time I would you know watch Netflix or just lounge around and watch like YouTube videos all the time and I kind of felt like I've been away from YouTube for so long and at the same time like watching videos I feel like from when I started because my channel I think is three years old it was three years old in July so I just feel like as my channel's been three it's three years now I think that I've been on YouTube yeah three years because last year was two three years um I just feel like since I've started compared to now I feel like videos on YouTube have kind of become like fancy like I just feel like they're a huge production like so much goes into them which don't get me wrong like I think that's great for people who are really into that and like enjoy like editing or they have like the software or their time or just everything to do that but for me that's not that's not something that applies to me like I don't have the funds to go out and buy like a super fancy camera or like buy the best editing software you know what I mean and I don't like video editing and things like that like that doesn't appeal to me nearly as much as just sitting here just making a video talking to you guys so at the same time I kind of felt like everyone else is sitting here doing all these like super awesome videos like no one's gonna want to watch my videos that's kind of what went on in my mind or it just like I felt like it wouldn't be good enough like that's how I kind of felt like my videos wouldn't be good enough to like compete with what else is out there and then so I was just kind of like unmotivated because I'm like like putting out something that's like subpar or like not as good like I'm not sure like what word I'm trying to look for here but um that's kind of what it was and I was just like I just feel like it evolved and then like I missed that train kind of thing you know and then I and then I thought to myself I was like so what like so what if some people enjoy you know doing awesome videos and like taking time to like edit them like a champ and have these beautiful pieces put together and all that stuff I was like why should that stop you you know I mean I didn't create my channel to sit here and have a second job or like make this my primary job I did it because I love talking about makeup and my boyfriend doesn't want to listen to me talk about it all the time you know and I was just like why can't I just make videos and talk about something that I like to talk about you know I was like why does it have to be a production because that's not why I started it I didn't start it to make it this huge production or like my second source of income like or something like that like if that happened along the way then fine like cool but that wasn't why I started it you know I started it because I wanted to share my love of makeup and clothes not clothes so much but maybe a little bit you know mostly like makeup and things like that you know I just want to share it and that's so I realized I was like you know what there's 1300 of you currently or so you know that have subscribed to my channel and even if there's one person like just one person out there who likes my videos and fine like I'm accomplishing what I set out to do you know if there's just someone who enjoys watching my videos and they don't need the whole like shebang with like fancy editing and transitions and like super awesome like videography I think that's what it's called um then cool you know then that's fine because at the end of the day this is what my channel is going to be and I don't want to sit here and stress or have it affect me negatively like comparing myself to like other channels like oh I can't have like the fanciest camera or I don't have like the fanciest video editing software so I can't do this this and this but as long as I just strive to make my channel good to what I want it to be then perfect as long as I'm putting content that I'm happy about then cool and if other people seem to like it then fine then that's the way the cookie's gonna crumble and I am okay with that and I don't have to compare myself to other channels and I do enjoy the fact that there are still like over a thousand of you you know who do watch my channel and that that alone is just so crazy to me I know there's like so many people on YouTube who have like 10,000 100,000 and like when I first started this out like I remember when I had like one subscriber and then I remembered when I had like 25 and then like when I got to 100 that was like whoa you know what I mean and like when I reached 500 and 700 and like a thousand it was just like crazy to me like a thousand kids like that's more than like my graduating class in high school like I think my graduating class in high school was like 400 of us and that seemed like a crazy amount so to know that there's like 
more than two times like almost three times that amount is just like what just thank you thank you for you know hanging out with me and subscribing and liking my videos you know what I mean like watching them and everything like that so yeah I just thank you guys so much and I'm really looking forward to continuing you know my YouTube journey here like I do have so many videos planned um, that I actually have written down and that's the thing that I want to also address is I do want to say there are going to be some changes to my channel that I mean nothing crazy drastic but just things like um I want to share with you guys um, I will be much better with like getting videos up um, originally I was aiming for two videos a week but I think like with my school schedule next semester because I'm taking 17 credit hours um, I'm gonna aim for like one video a week because it got down to the point where previously it was like oh my gosh I need two videos a week and I felt bad that I wasn't um, uploading two videos a week and then it became stressful you know and like that's the last thing I want like I want myself to feel happy to you know go ahead and film like no pressure or anything like that because like I feel like some of my videos suffered because of that you know what I mean because I was pressured like oh you need a film to like get these videos up but I feel like one video a week will be totally manageable um so that's like the main goal um occasionally I'm sure there'll be two videos a week just because I feel like I have so many video ideas that like I feel like if I only do one video a week it's gonna be like December and I barely made it through my list you know what I mean I just feel like having four videos a month just isn't enough time to like accomplish what I want to so I mean as long as I can get the videos that I want done and if it happens that one week or a couple weeks out of the month there's two videos then awesome but like the main goal what you can expect from me is one video a week do you want to say thank you for those of you who have stuck around while I was away but I am so excited to finally be back and I'm super excited about the videos that I have planned um please let me know in the comments below what videos you guys would like to see because I have a couple planned but I definitely want to make a list of videos that you want to see um, because you guys are the ones watching my videos so obviously I want to create content that you guys would enjoy so please leave me a comment down below with, with videos you like or just say hello after I've been gone so long um, because I've missed you guys I really have I've missed talking to you guys and everything like that sorry if this video is super long and super rambly I mean I know I think I'm pushing the 40 minute mark um, I don't know how short I'm gonna have this edited down to but um, I did get a new video editing software so um, I'll be playing around with that and hopefully it'll make my videos a little bit better um, just because I feel like the software that I had previously I just felt like it was dated and I don't know it didn't give me cool stuff and like when I saw this one um, I feel like it had more cool features if I'm ever gonna be able to figure them out I don't know but um, I did get a new video editing software that I'm teensy bit familiar with um, but we shall see how it goes when I go to edit this video so yes oh my gosh I feel like I am like parched because I've just been talking like a mile a minute for like an hour almost but um, yeah that is everything I thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for sticking around and as always I cannot wait to talk to you on my next video bye